All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, women and children of all ages, today's training is going to be going over how to pull an expired list off of the prop stream. So once you're all logged in and ready to go, uh, we're going to do today, St. Louis County is going to be the area we're going to be searching. Once we search it, it shows everything from a broad range, all the way up to 294,000 properties over here. So over here on the right side, it shows all the properties. Over here, it just shows it on the map. And then there's a filter up here. So what we're going to do now is filter this list to actually find uh, MLS listings, expired though. We only want expired, not the ones that's active, expired only. So here you can choose from owner occupied, yes or no, or any. Um, we can actually break down into here what type of list we want. We want MLS list, which I already pressed, I thought, but I guess I didn't. So every time you change something over here, you'll notice this number on the right side will go down smaller. Because you saw it was 200 something before, now it's down to under 5,000. So as we add different characteristics within it is different thing, as in property type, features we want single family homes we could choose condos multifamily land or other but we're just doing single family homes and as you see when i click that that dropped it down another thousand houses down to four thousand um, we can even choose all the way down to the year built bedrooms bathrooms square footage lot size if it has a pool we only want houses with pools let's see what happens probably not going to be a lot 225 houses with pools active on the mls right now but remember, we don't want active, we want expired. And how you get to that is down here in this next filter, which is after property characteristics, which will be MLS status, multiple listing service status. We can put over here, if it's active, contingent, failed, pending, sold, or unknown. We're gonna click fail, meaning it was on the MLS and it did not sell for some reason. We don't know why it didn't sell, but all 72 houses right here in St. Louis County did not sell. So these are the kind of houses that we're looking for. We can actually put in here listing date, listing amount, days on market, as well as uh, here on market. So we can, right now it's already set to any, but I'm gonna change it to no, meaning it's not on market anymore. And it's still 72, same thing, because we already put fail. So I guess that's the same thing. Fail and no must be the same. So um, if we did a listing date, um, let me see here, let me test something. If I was to say listed today, Nothing's going to show because it wasn't listed today and it didn't fail. We want to go back in time. So something that was listed, we'll say since fe between February and now. 31 houses. See, so that shows more timeliness versus what we had when, when I take that off. If you need to take one of these filters off, you just press this little red X and it'll bring this number back up but I guess that didn't change anything. So anybody from February 1st till now that it was a failed listing, we can even go in and put more details if we wanted to. But generally, these are the ba basic criteria you wanna do. MLS, single family, we don't really need that pool thing. We can get rid of that, I just was messing around. Oh wow, when I take pool off, you see how the number jump up to 627? I don't know, I might need to leave that pool on there just to see something, mm -hmm. make my list smaller. <laughs> so to get to that, you go back to property characteristics, I can even say air conditioning. I ain't never, some of these don't have, oh, only seven houses. Seven houses do not have air conditioning because we got 620 versus 627. I only want houses with fireplaces. Let's see, oh, that knocks it down. And we only want houses with garages. 584. So yeah, as you see, you can toggle and play with that, but we don't really mess with any of that because none of that really matters to us. Our main thing is, is it on the MLS or was it listed? meaning somebody actively tried to market and sell it. We don't know why it didn't sell. Usually the price was too high or something happened or maybe they owe too much on it. This can possibly be a motivated seller. Make sense? It didn't sell. They had it on the MLS. People walked through their house, made them offers, if they made them offers, and maybe they just didn't buy it. Maybe they asked too much. We don't know. All we know is they did want to sell at one time. So um, we got here, I'm gonna put single family and condos to see if it changes, not much. Oh, I went up by about 50 houses. That's a lot. So I'm not doing that. So to stick to the basics, MLS, single family, failed listing. And you want to go back about at least six months. Is that six months? March, April, May, June, July, August, September. We know it was listed between that day to now. Um, you can come down. Uh, look at foreclosure status if you wanted to, but we're not really messing with that. I'm just letting you see that there's other things you can do. Anything in pre-foreclosure. That knocks it down to 13. So that means they double motivated, meaning it was listed on the MLS, it did not sell, 
it was a pre foreclosure, meaning they're they're about to lose their house to the bank. Might have did lose their house. I'm not sure. Some of these might have. I have to go in and dig. And then um, thirdly, just none. So I'm gonna take it off of pre foreclosure. Um, then they actually, oh, actually, let me put it back on there. Pre foreclosure. So say I was looking at pre foreclosure, right? I want to put an auction date if I'm going to use that because I want to know the auction dates in the future, meaning I don't know next week. It's probably going to be none. Let's see the. Oh, there's two with an auction date of October 16th or later. These two people are possibly deals that we can go after right here. Just looking at it, just on just raw footage before I pull a list or do anything special. These are potential people that want to sell. Does this all making sense so far? Or am I going too fast? Yeah, that's fine. Even though it's recorded for quality and training purposes. So these people here, as you see, they were on an MLS that didn't sell. It failed. Um, it was listed between February and now. It's in pre-foreclosure, and the auction date is 10, 16 or later, meaning it's in the future. That date hasn't happened yet. So these two potential people probably need to be called like today as a cold call. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes. So if we look at it, we'll see here, Aaron Anderson. We, we can help him out. Hey, Aaron, you still selling that house on Jerry's Lane? No, I don't want to sell it. So if, even if I want to go dig and look and get a little deeper. Oh, that's right over by my mom's house. Mm -hmm. So if we look it up on Zillow here, let's see what it says. Foreclosure auction. Wow, that has been on here a long time. So this has already been taken by the bank. Mm. And how would I know that? No, I um, let's see here. So listed for sale in May, listing removed. I don't know if it was taken or not. I mean, I was, oh yeah, it was, it says it right here, foreclosure auction, mm -hmm. September. So we missed him. So I don't know why this other system said that the auction date was in the future. Maybe it's because it's an auction for, um, for the bank mm -hmm. or something. So that person don't own this house anymore. So we can't do nothing. With him. He's dead when I do a little digging. But generally I still try to, uh, when I pull these lists, I try to pull them in a group and still get an answer from the homeowner. Let me see if it's the same thing with this one real quick. Making this video way too long. Let's see here, Holt Germain, MLS details, listing date, update date, it failed, 73 days on the market. It's in Maryland Heights, beautiful house probably. I go to the Zillow listing, ask for 190,000 and it's actually, Going to auction again on 1015. So this is one that we want to call. We would have to look up the person, get their actual information, and reach out to them. So yeah, foreclosure auction. So that means they haven't had an auction yet. Sometimes they say on here that it's been foreclosed by the bank. So this is actually one that needs to be touched as of this has only been up 13 days. And the auction is actually 10 15, which is next week. We could save this house possibly, depending on the seller. Now, let's see about Mr. Seller here. Property details, Hope Germain. Where would we go to look this up, uh, uh, Christine? If we were going to look this guy up to see his phone number, where would we go? Uh, for the phone number, uh, it's also in Zillow for the phone number. Well, this particular property wouldn't be on Zillow because it's not listed as a for sale by owner. It's listed as a pre-foreclosure as an auction. So it's a little bit different. What do you think it would do, uh, Kim? How do we get the phone number for this person? Mr. Holt Germain here. How do we get his number? Google? Google. Google. Well, we got, well, we got a site we use. It's pretty easy. It's called truepeoplesearch.com. Remember that video we went over that day? Yeah. So truepeoplesearch.com, uh, yeah. true we will go ahead and look him up. You can look him up by his uh, address here or his name. So I'm gonna pull it up just for the training purposes to make this video unnecessarily long, which I usually try to make in 10 minutes or less, but um, we don't want all the way off into a riff now. Let's see here, address. And I usually try to do the address and then find the name backwards. Does that make sense? That was 63043. Yes. And what was his name? Jermaine Holt. Jermaine Holt Sr. View details. Voila. We got those numbers to call. So there's some cold calls you can knock out this afternoon. Um, probably, uh, yeah. 
Kim, Kim, yeah, you can do these because you got enough time. You'll be off before we get off here. So you can call this guy. He's out of town. Look at that, an out-of-town owner. So this is multiple levels of motivation, which are what? Pre-foreclosure, listed on the MLS, out-of-state owner. The property's probably distressed. The property's probably vacant. I don't know. But look at the, all those levels of motivation. This is a person we can help right here, if we can reach him. Make sense? Okay. Yes. So that's how you can actually find an actual deal. You can find a deal. That's how crazy this game is. Just digging. A little bit of research. Was that hard? Everything I did there, was any of that difficult? No. Just this part, uh, this one here. So on here. So basically, they even tell here the pre-foreclosure. It says the same thing we just saw. Auction date, 10-15 at 10 a.m. Here's the people that are actually uh, the trustee, which is the attorney, is going to be handling their sale, which we don't have to talk to them. We need to get in contact with the homeowner because it's all up to them. If they say they want to sell their house and they're willing to work with us, we can work out a deal with them pretty quickly, especially on a beautiful house right here in Maryland Heights, a three-bedroom, four-bathroom house in Maryland Heights that looks this beautiful. On a lake. Look at that. On a freaking lake. Wouldn't you want to help this person out? You would like to help him out. It's already listed, so there we go. We see he's out of town, so all those different pain points. And if we have to, another thing is, so say we got a, say we can't get him to answer the phone on all those numbers. We got these numbers too. You can reach the family members. Hey, yeah, I'm trying to get in contact with Jermaine. You know, if you really want to get serious, even though we don't have any phone numbers for her, <laughs> I guess that's getting serious. Ain't no numbers for her. Actually, that's the address we're looking at, ain't it? Oh, look at that. We need to reach Bria Hope, Brianna Hope. She the one living in the house. This is a daughter. This must be the daughter because she's 23 and he, and he was older, right? Yeah, he's 48. That's probably his daughter. He lives in Texas. She lives in St. Louis and their house is going up for foreclosure. Is this possibly the wife? I mean, who's James Hope? I don't know. These might be family members. And actually, so when you go to the actual person, what was his name again? Jermaine, when we go in here, you can see there's other people down here. You got email addresses. Look at that. Crazy. They got other previous addresses. You got possible relatives, which is this Dana Waddell. Might be an ex-wife, might be an auntie, whoever. You see what I'm saying? If we really want to find a person, we can really dig and find somebody. Does that make sense? Yeah. Say, yeah, I'm trying to find Jermaine. What are you looking for him for? Well, we're actually calling him in regards to trying to see if he's interested in selling that house he got over there that he's about to lose. What? He's about to lose his house? Let me get you on the phone with him. <laughs> or they might just get mad. I don't know. Have people been getting mean to y'all or what? When you talk to him on the phone, have they been pretty mean lately or no? That really depends. If it's from REI Rail. Yes, they are. But uh, on Zillow, some of them are actually me. There you go. So any questions about any of this stuff I just went over so far right here? Mm -hmm, so far. No. All right. So I'm going to uh, stop. I just oh. actually have a question, but it's actually not on this website. But it's actually on 